Now, in the last chapter, we had deployed an Azure VM when it comes on Terraform. Now, currently, if you want to connect onto this Azure VM to see if it works, we need to have a public IP address in place. So if you want to connect from your local machine, from your laptop, via the internet onto the Azure VM, you need to have another resource in Azure that is a public IP address. That public IP address is actually assigned onto the network interface that is assigned onto the Azure VM. So let's modify our Terraform configuration file to ensure that a public IP address is assigned onto our Azure VM. So before we move on to our Terraform configuration file for deploying a public IP address. Let's see how do we do it manually in Azure. So here I have my virtual machine in place. Here let me create a new resource. Yeah, I'm going to choose for public IP address. This is the service that I need to choose. I need to hit on create. Yeah, I'll leave the SKU as standard. Yeah, I'll just give a name for the public IP address. I'll scroll down. I'll choose my resource group and existing resource group. I'm going to deploy it in the same location as my Azure VM. Let me hit on create. This will just take a minute or two. Let's come back once this is complete. Once this is complete, I can go on to virtual machines and I can go on to my app VM. So if I go on to all resources, so here, let me just hit on refresh. And now I can see my public IP address. So let me go on to the Azure virtual machine. Now to attach the public IP address, we have to go on to the networking section. Here we have to go on to the network interface. Then we have to go on to IP configurations. We have to go on to the IP config. Here in the public IP address settings, we have to hit on associate. Then choose the public IP address and let me click on save. So the public IP address is actually attached onto the network interface that is attached onto the Azure VM. So this just takes a minute or two. Once this is done, if you go onto the Azure virtual machine and if you go onto the overview, you can see the public IP address. Now we want to perform the same operation via a Terraform configuration file. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go again onto the networking section, onto the network interface, onto IP configurations. Let's go onto the IP config. I'll hit on disassociate and click on save. So we'll just kind of roll back. We'll disassociate the public IP address settings and then let's delete the public IP address. So once this is done, I'll go on to all resources. Let me choose the public IP address and let me hit on delete. Now let's go on to our Terraform configuration file. Let's see how to create the public IP address and assign it onto the Azure VM. Now here I'm just going to paste in the code for the deployment of a public IP address. So here is the resource type. Here is the name I'm giving onto the resource and the name I'm giving onto the public IP address. Here is a resource group and the location, and I'm marking it as a static IP address. Now, in order to assign this onto our Azure VM, it needs to be assigned onto the IP configuration of our network interface. So here, in addition to the private IP address, I can also assign the public IP address. And here I can choose the public IP resource that we've defined in this configuration file. So now, obviously, this also depends upon the creation of a public IP address. So let me ensure that I choose the public IP dot the name of the resource. So we have to ensure that the public IP address is also in place when it comes on to assigning the public IP address onto the Azure VM. So let's save this. Go on to the terminal. Let's clear the screen. Let's again have the plan in place. 
So here we seem to have an issue on line 56. So let's go on to line 56. So over here, it's the ID. So I forgot to mention the ID. Let's again save this. Let's try it out again to create the plan. So this is done. So one resource to add, that's the public IP address and one resource to change, that's the network interface. So the public IP address is going to be assigned onto the network interface. Let's apply this and let's wait till this is complete. Once this is complete, here if I hit on refresh for the Azure VM, I can now see a public IP address in place. So now I can connect via RDP onto this machine. So I can download the RDP file. I can then click on the file. I can hit on connect. Here I can enter the username and password, which is demo user and Azure at the rate one, two, three. This is a credential that we specified in our Terraform configuration file. And now we can see we are connected onto our Azure virtual machine.